Hi, I'm Twan, team rider for Surf Center and since this year also team rider for Patrick International. I'm here today to tell you something about the, the boards and also about the sails and we will start off with the slalom board range for uh, Patrick. Um, this year I will be using the 110 liter and downwards. Uh, so I will be only using the medium gear and the small speed gear. Uh, for me, I especially chosen the 110 liter because of its width. It's a little bit better for speed sailing because it's two centimeters smaller than the 115 uh, liter. And in the end, a little bit smaller is a little bit faster. For the people who are more into slalom sailing and need a little bit more buoyancy around the mark, I will advise the 115 liter. Um, also, I have the special air inside board, which is just incredibly light and stiff. Uh, for those who are looking for that little bit extra performance, I would definitely recommend to buy this board because I sailed it now twice. I'm just amazed about how quick I get planing and how reactive it is underneath the feet. So yeah, if you want to have the best of the best, go for the air inside. Uh, in the smaller boards I have the 90 liter, which is 59 centimeters wide. Uh, I have the standard carbon layup in it, uh, which is a little bit easier and a little bit more forgiving when you are in choppy water. It has a glass deck and a full carbon uh, of a glass bottom and a full carbon deck. So it's a little bit more comfortable when you go over the chop. Um, for me it's better and it's just uh, it gives me that little bit of more control when I go full power. Uh, so in the small size I have the 90. Uh, for the bigger people and the more heavier people there is a 95. It's also the size the PWA guys are using. Uh, so if you're also looking again for a little bit more uh, buoyancy and a little bit better acceleration out of the jibe, I would go for the 95. And for the really light guys there is even an 85 liter, which is a little bit smaller again than the 90. Uh, so if you are below 90 kilos and you are looking for a high wind uh, slalom board, I would definitely recommend the 85 liter. Um, that should be your go-to high wind speed board or high wind slalom board and uh, uh, gives you a little bit more control when, it's get, uh, when uh, the wind gets really howling. Uh, so yeah, that is in a nutshell the whole range. If you have any questions or uh, further things you want to know about the boards, uh, just give me a, a call or uh, give a, a go on the chat on the website of Surf Center and uh, we will answer all your questions and get you hooked on the Patrick boards. Next thing is the speed boards. We will move to the, the range, which is more my profession. I think everybody knows the Patrick board because of the speed range. Uh, he is one of the most well-known speed shapers and also one of the most well-known speed sailors himself. Um, for speed, I choose to have two sizes for here in Europe, which is the 48 wide, which is actually for people who are starting to look into speed sailing, the go-to board. Still qu uh, got quite some volume in it, around 70 liters, so it's easy to start on. Easy to get going, uh, not hard to water start, um, and also doesn't feel directly super small. What is really uh, nice about the uh, Patrick boards is that they really have boxy rails. Uh, they make the rails quite boxy with a reason. So you have enough power, especially a half wind already, to go into your runs. So also on the little bit choppier courses or the little bit less uh, angle in the course, you have enough power to keep the board flying. Uh, you can sail it from a 7.0 all the way down to a 5.0, uh, especially if you're looking for all-round speed board, uh, not really experienced in speed sailing, I would definitely recommend this board. Um, for the proper speed days, I will have a 43 which is for Europe uh, yeah, the fastest board you can get. Uh, so when it's really nuking around 50 knots, you're proper powered up on a 5.2. Uh, yeah, definitely I would grab to the 43 and then start to use that one and try to hit the 50 knots on open water. Furthermore, you will see that the shape of the board, it's quite stretched out. It, it has some length in the board, so also makes it easier for you to get going. Uh, so again, uh, if you are looking for a board to enter speed sailing, 
Look for the 48. If you are really heavy, uh, around 100 uh, kilograms and more, maybe even go for the 53. It has a little bit more buoyancy. Uh, it's just easier to get away. And you can also use the 53 as a light wind speed board with 7.8 or 7.0 on the light wind days. For Luderitz, they have even smaller. They have a 40 and a 39. Uh, those are really specialized boards for the canals. And definitely looking forward, uh, next time I will go to Luderitz, to use the 39 and the 40 centimeter. Um, so yes, that's, that's also the speed range. If you have any questions about the uh, boards, uh, go to the website of Surf Center and give a call to us or send us a message on the website and we will answer you directly.